subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! Today, we show you why we are the most conditioned athletes in the world. Hey guys, so here we are, Saturday morning, Stolten Strength Center. I've been here since the crack of dawn, sweeping, cleaning. Tom's just woken up. I'm sweating. I was angry, tired so, and raging. So what we're we gonna do today? We're gonna get fit. So we've got Matthew Forth, who is leading the conditioning class. He does classes now in the Stolten Strength Center, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, two sessions a day. Very basic, we're just getting our heart rate up and prep for World's Strongest Man, obviously. We, we need to be fit, so this really helps with our recovery pr uh, process when we're competing. So, fit heart, healthy lungs, that's what we're looking for, that's why we're doing this. Fit heart, fit life. But stay fit. So you'll see everybody stay working hard, and I'll be working the harder. Stay spicy. So Martins, I've seen that you like sweeping with your broomstick. It's pretty cute, but this was Martins 2.0. that is how you clean up. So we are starting on the, the slam ball over the shoulder. So we're 40 kilos, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off for five minutes at each station. So that's pretty much everything that we do. So we've got the rower, kettlebell swings, box jumps, burpees, a salt bike, a skier. Five minutes in each station. Hopefully we don't die. If we do, this will be the last time you hear from us. Namaste. Matt Fraser, are you ready, bro? This is a CrossFit Games Stolen Strength style. This is the first event in the conditioning class. It's the 40 kilo slam ball over the shoulder. So what we want to do here is obviously explode up with the ball, throw it over our shoulder. Oh, Dizzy. Jesus. Oh, Dizzy, blah. <laughs> Jesus. That's good. I'm ready. I warmed up. Matt Fraser, we're coming. Yeah, come on. Come on up to Joshua, yeah? So, next up, we have the dreaded rower. Um, so, if Tom's feet can fit in, which luckily enough they did, we're going to do 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. What we want to do is, you know, really have that good technique. So we want to explode, as you can see here. Tom's moving the rower as he's pulling, because he's pulling with that much force. Draw, draw, draw your boat. After the roar, we're doing some kettlebell swings. Tom and I do a lot of these, incorporate them to our training, you know, to warm up for log press, stone lifting, really hits the glutes, hammies. You see here, Tom's you know, fully extending above the head, getting the head through, hips through, um, and we kind of try and squeeze the booty in the top section. Okay. Box jumps. So this is a great one that Matthew's thrown in in his conditioning class. It really helps. Just with your explosive, the kind of fast twitch muscle fibres. Oh my God. I mean, your heart rate's up straight away, which is good, which is what we need. And with a 30 second rest, that's what we need to try and get back down as much as we can to go again. Here we go. After the box jumps, it's the dreaded burpee. This, there's not really much to say apart from it's hell on earth. Tom likes to hit his belly off the ground and use his belly as like a cushion to bounce himself back up again. Even bigger guys, then we're going to have to push up 26, 27 stone. Yeah, so we're doing three rounds and then we're cleaning. I think it's as good as we can. We've got the doors open, so we've got great circulation. We've got two big doors, so one way in, one way out. Come on, Tom. Please, help me. I hope this makes me win World Strongest Man. Let's go. Oh 
my god. I feel sick. I'm gonna feel sick. That's bad. I don't like them. They're bad, it should be bad. With a uh, wall ball, slam ball, whatever you want to call it. Um, I got told off because I wasn't touching the ground in each twist that I was doing. Real good one for kind of, you know, hitting that core, which obviously is a massive thing in strong man. We want a core to be strong, able to kind of carry the heavy heavy loads and yoke press. When we're doing log press, Atlas stones, we need that kind of good core. Um, I'm just not doing it quite right here. Russian twists, the ball has to touch you around the outside, so you get the big uh, stretch in your oblique. So, uh, yeah, it looks a cheat on this, so it is what it is for, anyway. So after Russian twists, we have the assault bike. So the assault bikes, obviously, it's, it's great for getting that heart rate up. At the end of the day, with, with the assault bike, I think something that I love about it is you can only work as hard as you're putting in, you know? So the harder you work, the harder it's going, the more resistance it is. The legs are burning that much. You're, you know, you're driving it all the time, and, and that's very similar to kind of truck pull and stuff. So you're creating that lactic acid build up. Ten seconds, I'll go fast. Last fifteen. You ready? Plate to overhead, just like a barbell over plate. Doing it this way, it means it's less time on the ground. I don't know why we do it, but it's just it's easier to press it if you go hit it down, hit it up. I think anyway, Luke's not doing that. Last, but by no means least, we have the skier, which is just horrible. When we're at World Strongest Man, it's the last event, you leave it all in the, the kind of battlefield, and this is what we try and do here. You know, we just really want to push it and get our heart rate up as much as we can without dying. I'm dropping like a burst fridge, like the Niagara Falls, like a leak in your garden growing. <laughs> This is going to make us win one and two at World's Strongest Man. Can we just stop at this? Yeah, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, Matt Fraser, Mike Tyson, and the rest of you? I love you all, actually. Matthew! Right, so that's the conditioning session finished. Um, so, as we say, we do this every week. Matt. Yeah, here he comes. Here he is. The guy that laughs at us. But I used to laugh at him when I trained with him. Yeah, this is where I get my own back. I love it. I absolutely Round love it. One and it. two, I'm Ross Strongest Man. This is him. For three weeks. That was the hardest week this week. I think this was a. Uh, Wow. I think it was the hardest because we pushed ourselves the hardest. How are they compared to the first week they were here? Yeah, much better, much better. I mean, the same sweat levels, and uh, but uh, I, they just they just look more comfortable doing it. The fitness levels are rising, you know, peaking for worlds now. Aren't they? So. We've only got 30 seconds between events to recover like, in here, so that recovery rate's getting better. Our heart rate's coming down quicker. Um, and we're able to operate a higher heart rate for a longer time. One minute of burpees is harder than running with uh, loading implements, 1000%, you know. If World Strongest Man had a minute of burpees, I'd come last, man. That is the most brutal thing in the world. Eh? So I don't know if you remember, this is... We didn't kill George throwing the bag over. Run. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't you sweating? He's rocking the spicy range. A little Maximus as we mate. Right. If you want to buy one of these, one of them, or a Stokeman versus the world, go to stokemanbrothers.com 
all the merchandise there. Soon to have chalk, soon to have socks, and we're going to be releasing a hoodie very soon, so stay tuned for that. We are now going to jump into the cold tub. How cold is it, Tom? It's one degrees. One degrees, bro. Rule number one. Roll up the shorts. I feel like I've let you all down, guys. Um, I've left my budgie smugglers at home. Are you still going in, though, yeah? Yeah, I suppose. It's not the same. I'm getting my hamstrings done and everything. Mate, I actually survived conditioning, which is quite a... I'm very, very thankful for So we got Ross up an extra day to uh, MOT my body. <laughs> what was your least favourite uh, then? Burpees. Burpees should be illegal. You should be allowed to do burpees in the UK. So. Over massage today, just try and get all the wee lumps and bumps and knots out. Um, get look prepped for, for some light events, I believe. Hello. Rain and Caledonian with some massage, you know. <laughs> <laughs> What? No. I've got a new business called uh, Tom Physios. So uh, basically, the top ab, bottom ab, you always want to squeeze in the middle, yeah? <laughs> really get hard, hard. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> and now he's uh, nice and loose now, so. I don't know what this guy's doing. This Tom's, Fiz Tom's Physio? How much do you charge for a session? £25. <laughs> <laughs> Right guys, so that's uh, conditioning and physio done. Um, Tom's got to shoot off, I've got, I'm going to man up, we're going to get some more ice with the ice tub. Oh, easy! The ice man delivers again. Oh my goodness. See so we can get a few of the guys from the class in. I've got business to do, you know. No he doesn't, Sinead's told him he's got to go. I've got, I've got money to make, business to do, you know. But just whatever. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Do the j usual stuff. You know, if you don't subscribe, if you don't like, I'll do a lot of dangerous things to Simon, right? So a special thanks to Matthew Fourth yes. for taking the class. Awesome as always, Matthew. Thank you so much. You're a great addition to the Stoneman Strength Centre. Well, only if he makes us win world's strongest man. <laughs> just make me win it. Stay safe. Smile. Stay spicy. And keep ringing that little bell. Ding dong, ding 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 dong dong, ding ding. You're so hollow, baby. Okay, next Keep bleeding with love. Oh. <laughs> That's how you do it, bro. We'll see you later, Thomas. Tom said he had to go for dinner, and it's only 11 o'clock. So I don't really understand the timings. I understand that he said lunch, but he said dinner. He says, oh, we're going to somewhere tonight. I think he's just scared of the ice. So the ice man has delivered two fresh tubs of ice. There's only two more people left to do the, the ice tub. Myself and Donny. Donny actually donated the bike to us. Massive shout out to him and huge thank you to, to Donny for doing that. It's, um, it's nice, you know, because we all have a small community um, where we're from in Invergordon and Rossshire, the Highlands. And, you know, I like to think that the gym provides another community and then people like Donnie kind of donating stuff is, is so touching to us. So it's, it does mean a huge amount to me that there is people out there that, that do that. So um, a huge thank you to Donnie, much appreciated. LC24 Cycle Repair, so that's Donnie's company, but we're also going to be doing something on the bike so we're probably going to release that soon. Um, it's going to be for mental health. Obviously we're kind of advocates of mental health and try to do as much as we can, um, certainly for Mikey's line and for any other charities that are out there. So we will be doing something for that, but we'll announce that at a later date. We better get this ice tub out of the way first. I'm not feeling it today, to be honest, but 
We have to practice what we preach, don't we, Simon? Are you coming in too? No, okay, just me and Donny. Right, who's going in first? You lost the lead away. Oh, it's like that, man! Oh, no! You can have Dolly. I got it. Oh! Oh! She me I don't think I can go now. <laughs> oh, you can't even you can't even move. Oh, this is this is nuts. Tom, you're rushing out, boy. Yeah, zero degrees. Just under zero. Oh. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Oh, I love the cold. Oh, <laughs>